Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to the sandbox mode where today we're going to be building something I've never truly built before a fully operational spaceship. Rather than going with satellites and everything else, this is all going to be a fully functioning combat vehicle which will spend its whole life and possibly its death in the depths of space. At least about this high at 1,460 meters above the water. Now normally I do shy away from these things as they are a little bit cheesy, but the whole point of the campaign currently is trying stuff I've never tried before. So this is going to be difficult and it's probably going to be quite expensive. This is going to be spawned into the campaign as soon as I can, hopefully in the next episode but we will see because I want this thing to have laser defenses I want it to have lasers as the main weapon and I want it to have a decent amount of armor and a decent top speed That's gonna require a lot of engine power and a lot of materials So let's just uh, get to work building a basic hull shape because currently we have a stick. Oh No, I was hoping that wouldn't work. So it turns out deadly blades work in space Why do they work in space? They shouldn't work in space, but there we are now going 83 meters per sec- Darn it, okay. So, I was really hoping that wouldn't work, because I love using Deadly Blades, um, and, but I do still want to use Ion Thrusters as our main propulsion, but it does now mean, if we want to, we can add the Deadly Blades. Why do they work in space? I mean, normal jets don't work in space, right? Yeah, because missiles don't. That's- Mm, that's a little bit annoying because now I know there's a better option, but uh, at least an easier option for me since I'm used to building with them But we'll try and stay away from that as best we can right now. I'm using the giant ion thrusters. I Swear one day my design choices won't just be well We could add spikes to that but look at least I am using the transition blocks for once. I'm trying look. I'm actually trying I Have no idea how long this is gonna take though because even just this idea took way too long to uh, figure out in my head but this is the back section, at least one of the plates. I want to have multiple plates kind of on top of or around the main hull. And then a couple of fins at the back sticking out to maybe about here, and then going back, or maybe going forward. But either way, I want it to look a bit more interesting than the blocks I have currently on the surface. Okay, so the basic idea is at the back here, it's going to have a lot more than it's currently got. Obviously, it's mostly just a shell right now, so two wings coming down at an angle. I'll probably have to use a spin block for that to make it easier, or I could just try and build with it. Then the front's going to be a little bit wider as well, so the middle, I'm actually going to bring in a little bit, then try and have more bits kind of attached to it, so it looks a bit more interesting. At the moment, it is already becoming a bit too blocky, so have to work on that. But I think I've got the idea in my head at least. Now, if only I had the building skills to make it work. Well, probably should be focusing on other things, but I've started to paint some of it, and actually I quite like this. It's a chunky boy, because that's apparently all I can build, but I do really, really like it, especially with the um, little stepping effects here, which I'll probably do on the bottom as well. Since I think I want this to go one further down, that'll give me loads of bottom armor, which is really good since we're in space, we're going to be shot from down on the planet. Okay, I, th I actually think I want this to be a bit thinner as well, so maybe bring in this as well. Then I want more plates, which look like they're not quite fully attached to the main body. That's what I've started building down here, to give this a bit of texture. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. I'm just hoping I give- I'm just hoping I give myself enough space to build this thing up. Currently it only has 8,000 engine power, which I've used up just the back section there. I'm probably gonna need 20,000 plus to be even somewhat effective. I wish you could change the trail's colour, because I know this may be a shock to people, but I really do quite like red. <laughs> I mean, blood red is quite literally my favourite colour, along with deep purple, but... Yeah, would be nice. Currently no balance on this thing, I just wanted to see if I could even get this thing moving by just pulsing the engine, and yeah. Um, even with such small engines and such small thrusters, we can actually get a decent um, speed. It's almost like we're in space or something. Takes a second to get up to speed, but yeah, can get to 70, 80 already, so that's lovely. Don't think you'll need much more than that, which is great, because it means we can divert more to the lasers, which is going to be this entire cavity. We're going to be quite glass cannony, mostly relying on the fact we're in space as our defense. Quickly throwing together a little bit of armor for some underslung thrusters. These are going to be our balance thrusters, along with being able to make sure we stay at the correct altitude. You know, which would be pretty good for a spaceship. Don't really want to go and uh, crash straight 
into the planet. Now, that's not actually equal, but I do like that side. Uh, fine, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Things are due so shiny things can be seen, even though I'm never going to look at the underside of this thing ever again, most likely. But yeah, that looks way better, doesn't it? Oh, but it's so much more exposed. Don't care, don't care. I wonder what altitude I actually want to be at. Right now, I've just set myself to 1,200. I can't quite remember when space starts in From the Depths, so I'll have to check it out. So, it's a bit of a weird one, because... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Because, if I want to be completely defensive, or have a very, very low chance of anything ever hitting me, especially missiles and cram, the higher up I am, the better it's going to be. It's as simple as that, really. But at the same time, the higher up I am, the weaker my lasers are going to be. So, it's going to be a matter of... Uh, give and take. I'm oh, sorry, 1,300, not 1,200. I'm a bit of a dum-dum there. Um, yeah, we could just stay here. It's also nice cause I, because I can see more of the surface, which would be good for actually, you know, recording fights. We shall see. Right now, I'm just adding the real, real basics just to make sure I can actually function this thing. Give function to this thing? I can talk. It's at this moment, while everything looks a little bit off, that I realise I haven't added any roll controls to this thing. So I'm just adding a basic uh, laser system here. I'm going to remove the um, AI and put it somewhere else in a little bit. Remove, if I can speak normally. And then I need to work on armouring all this up, but I just want to do a few tests from space. So don't take this as a final product by any means. So essentially, something like that. That's a decent amount of damage for the initial burst, but quickly we're getting weaker because we don't have the engine power to sustain ourselves. Plus, honestly, the uh, the whole system right now is more focused around the burst at the start. So we definitely need more than that. Also need these rollers to work properly. Why have I... Oh, I know what I've done wrong. Completely forgot to put the input as roll. So we're now sitting at 90,000 resources, I have doubled the engine power and added some more laser system, we're now using continuous because I find that more fun. That is... nasty. At least, to begin with, I still might need to make it bigger. And the AI now is to just try and circle around the target, which is what we're doing. Which will make missiles and everything a little bit less likely to hit us, but yeah, that's it, that's all our power used. I still need more engine power. Might use a steam engine. Still, we are relatively cheap right now. We're decently quick and we're hard to hit. We're going to be very annoying. We could have multiple of us. And most enemies we're fighting currently won't even be able to see us, so that's going to help. Or at least able to hit us, I should say. Stop drifting. Thank you. Oh, deja vu. And already at 100k. Yep, yeah, that's working a lot better. And it's dead. Yep, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Turns out that doubling your engine power and um, adding more of the laser makes it a lot more powerful. It's still going to run out of power over time. I love how it drifts after the fight's over because the forward engines kind of mostly turn off. But um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be particularly deadly against very large targets, but it's quite cheap. So you can probably have multiple... Oh, this is going to kill us. There's no way we're taking out the guns before it fires its first volley and annihilates us. Unless it just can't see us right now. Ooh, keen to see what the missiles do. There's one gun gone with a pretty devastating explosion. There goes the second... Just keep moving, and once they are in space, they shouldn't be able to track us as well. Seriously? Okay, thankfully we had decent armor and enemies already destroyed. I am surprised. I'm going to be higher up. Well, lesson learned. I mean, we could have some anti-missile defenses. Basically, di just distraction sticks in space. It wouldn't be too expensive. We have plenty of space on the outside, and once again, our armor completely withstood that, so... Um, yeah, wouldn't be too expensive. Well, it turns out we definitely have enough uh, laser strength to completely knock out the Iron Cordon's volley. But it did take a lot of our power, so uh, I'm not quite sure what to do there. 
We could just use laser defense systems. It's something different. I don't normally use them all that much because of how power hungry they are, but we already have our systems in place and it's weird how it's choosing the missiles. It seems to be based, um, it seems to really dislike the higher health ones because now, of course, with the new missile system, these ones with the darker trials already damaged. They'll do less damage upon hitting. They're also slower. And it seems to like to get them all to um, similar health. Oh, it's firing at the advanced cannon shells. That's what it's doing down here. Okay, I was a bit curious then. Wow, if we had another weapon, we'd be almost immune to uh, missiles and cram. That is actually insane. But I do want to use the laser as my main weapon, though, still. Okay, let me change the laser so it's both the defense and the offense, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this time I've set it up so that we have both the local weapon controller and the anti-missile stuff both using the same turret. Whoa, you just completely obliterated that one system. That's great to see, though not in this test. Can you please fire? That'd be great if you did. Anytime now. Any second. Missiles. They're cool. Thank you. Yeah, its priority is slightly higher for the missiles, but it should still be firing occasionally. Okay, one missile down. Yep, all three of those missiles got knocked out, and it's back to targeting this. It was a bit staggered there, which is a bit weird. I'll uh, double-check some settings, but yeah, so essentially, we are immune to the Iron Cordon now that we're splitting both defense and offense with the laser system. It has slightly higher priority for the missiles, though only within a thousand meters. So as soon as they start getting closer, we should change target. Maybe that's what it's doing right now. It just takes a second to actually aim. Yeah. That's perfect. That's kind of exactly what I want to see. Strong enough to take out the missiles almost every single time. Well, actually, no, every single time right now. Doesn't even seem to be too difficult. And they're quite large missiles. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yep, we're going to be a nuisance. Not that strong, though. The actual damage output of the aircraft is not fantastic, but for only 100k now, that's pretty good. I need to start building bigger. The next, the next craft I build, I promise, is going to be a proper big craft. This one is probably going to be used in multiple as well. Okay, now to actually make um, an original version of these turrets. So there's going to be one at the back. So let's just pop these down so I know where it is. And then one at the front, about here. And they'll both be connected to the same system, both going off the same rules. Then I'm going to sprinkle uh, munition warners all over the craft so we can actually see the missiles incoming. After that, then I need to figure out how I'm going to finish off the outside and finish off all the uh, basics. You know, the laser system, the engines. I would like it to be a bit stronger. I think an extra 50,000 resources might be allocated to it. I might have it like this and have it kind of built in. So like that, going all the way inside. Maybe that could work. I am going to go with the double um, turret system here. It's a bit cheesy, but we're already using a spacecraft. Oh, actually, this one's gonna be, needs to go a bit further back. Currently, it is in the way of some of our thrusters. Yeah, so maybe something like this is the base. Blends in well to the back. It's going to be a bit oversized, but yeah, that works. Then do the same over there. Then I'm going to be tinkering, uh, tinkering with the engines as well. Currently, I will admit, they are just the prefabs. They are just the prefab engines. And I do want to uh, change them around a little bit just to make them more my own. So here we are. We now have two laser systems. One is focusing solely on the missiles. The other one is focusing on the enemy at the moment. But if there's no missiles present, then both of them will focus on the enemy. And if they get too close, both will also swap over to the missiles. Though that's not happening here, so yep, that's working perfectly. Sorry if the cameramanship has been really weird, it's just me trying to figure things out and I need to get certain angles so I can look back at the footage myself. But yeah, that works just fine. So that's that, so we have two systems, one which massively prefers firing at the missiles, one at the back, and one which massively prefers firing at the enemies, the one at the front. And they're both sharing the same system, so now I'm just going to increase the power of the lasers. Again, I love the fact it just drifts as soon as the fight's over. Just some finishing touches, nothing more. I was tempted to not go with red for this one, but you know, it's me. I like red. Th 
think that might be a bit too extreme. Yeah, maybe I'll find a better image for this, but uh, until then, we'll stick with a uh, good old Chaos Star, eh? How about 7.5 for both? Could make it fill the whole area, that wouldn't be too difficult to lift it up a bit. Uh, maybe. Either way, though, I do need to move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, stick with that for now. I uh, probably won't keep the image, so I won't uh, spend any more time trying to um, angle it correctly. Although, I will uh, get that correct. Since it's the opposite. There we are. So, I think the sides need a little bit more. So, I'm thinking these two alarms. And if they're thick enough to hold the thrusters, they're also probably big enough to hold an extra bit of engine power. Or maybe even a secondary weapon of some kind. Wouldn't be too difficult. It's a very relaxing craft to be on. Probably not so relaxing to see, but relaxing to be on. Speaking about how I can make it functional instead, what if we just add more spikes? I'm actually really liking how this thing is turning out now. It looks mean. It's actually looking more mean than it actually is, being a somewhat cheap craft in the end. I promise I'll make more expensive things in the future. I don't know what's happened to me, but during this campaign, I just became really budget conscious. <laughs> well, that's something good at least. Okay, it is definitely nearing its finished form. So right now it is pretty much fully functional. Um, I still think I can improve the lasers somewhat. Uh, one thing I did notice was that the laser itself didn't have enough armor penetration. So that might have been why it wasn't doing quite as much damage as I expected. Because I was changing things around. I thought it had 45 or so. It had 20. It had 20 armor penetration. Now it's back to 40. So next time it will be significantly stronger against more heavily armored targets. I love how that back section looks for once. Yeah, I am really happy with this thing, honestly. Looks evil from every angle, which makes me very happy. I mean, looks good from every angle, which makes me happy. These change the lasers back to being red or something, but yep, that's pretty much it. I could actually make it so it doesn't strafe. It's actually quite easy to do, but I kind of like it, so I think I'll stick with that. Uh, currently it can go, I think it's about 100 meters per second. Yeah, just shy of 100, which is fine. Yay for being in space and not actually needing all that much engine power for its movement. Right now, that engine power is being drained to, um, to replenish the lasers. And that's pretty much it. I am so tempted to add missiles. Turns out, it's actually very easy, very, very easy to add missiles to a spacecraft. Just a little bit of a push down and they'll manage to enter the atmosphere and go for the target. And I have loads of space for them, so... Might add a nasty salvo of medium-sized missiles, perhaps even just a couple of large ones. But that's it. This is the cheap version, and I am really happy with it. I will be working on it, of course, off-camera. There's still a few bits I need to change, uh, like at the back here. So the bottom here at the back. Uh, there's actually a bit of paint missing there, but also this bit I'm not too happy with. So I'll be working on that and a few other things, along with the detection system. But I'm confident it will be in the next campaign episode, because it just isn't that expensive. It's cheaper than the Abhorrence. So with that, thank you so much for watching. It does also need a name. Naturally, the phone goes off as soon as I'm trying to do the outro. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Do you think I should add a secondary weapon to this thing? An advanced cannon? Maybe a railgun? Or just go with just missile spam with some medium or small missiles, just so we can do a little bit of upfront damage when the fight first starts? Because I don't think this thing's ever going to be supremely powerful, but for a 100 or K so resource craft, I think it's going to be an absolute menace. Just an utter nuisance. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day, and do take care. And until next time, well, goodbye. I managed to finish a whole build in an episode. That's rare for me. Yay.